Good afternoon, Royal Wood. Kyle here. Video number 42, Thursday, June 4th, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm uh, obviously in, uh, in the grill room right now. As, uh, as Debbie goes ahead and stands up, you can see that the, uh, the glass panels have been, have been put in. Those were put in yesterday. We're missing one glass panel as um, that got broken during uh, shipping. They were manufactured in, uh, in Texas and got broken in shipping. But uh, they noticed that rather quickly during the shipping process and uh, reordered one that should be in within the next couple of days and Marco Glass will come right back out and um, we'll put that in. So, um, love the concept, love the nice natural light air that, um, that's coming in um, over the grill room, uh, over the grill room bar. Um, as you can see here, these were four giant uh, 70 inch TVs will be going up above the, uh, above the bar. We'll have two smaller ones on the other side for the indoor outdoor uh, grill room. You see over here, all the interior doors have, uh, have arrived. They have been uh, base painted uh, as well. And what you'll see later in a separate, um, in a separate hit on, uh, on the email blast today is we'll do more scans. The bathroom tile is being put in. The kitchen hood system, which we saved the old hood. Uh, modifications are being made up into the, into the roof per the uh, fire, marshal, uh, fire marshal code um, on all of that. All the kitchen walls have all of their panels in, the cleanable panels that, um, that need to be put in there. And then currently we're in the final stages of the Department of Health and Business Regulation uh, for food safety is uh, just in the final stages of approving all of the kitchen plans and that. It's been very smooth uh, all the way through that. Of course, we have a professional kitchen designer that knows all the codes. So um, the front wall out front is basically completed. We have a couple of little things to, uh, to do as far as, uh, as far as that's concerned. So, so click on, we're going to do a little video montage, the same one that we did as it relates to the Wellness Center. And as long as I mention the Wellness Center, we're still waiting on Collier County to go ahead and issue the permit for the propane tank. Propane tank needs to be put in so that we can get hot water into the bathrooms, and then we get hot water in the bathrooms, we can call for our temporary CO and, um, and go ahead and start the process of moving the pro shop. Into, uh, into the new space. So um, we're really hoping that by uh, no later the 4th of July, we could have this wellness center and fitness center and pro shop fully oper operational um, in that space. So um, other news and notes, we're having a July 4th barbecue. It'll be a shotgun start in the morning. It'll be a barbecue lunch outside the tent. We did that last year. It was really well received. It was very nice. And I believe, if you recall, did we do that? I think we might have done that under the porta-cache uh, last year's 4th of July. So, um, so that'll be nice. And then uh, another note, the uh, pro shop will be opening on Monday. If all you're doing is trying to check into the pro shop, continue to wait. The door will be unlocked. We'll have a divider there like we previously did. So if you need to come on in and purchase retail or any other reason like that, you need to drop something off for accounting, do that, but the pro shop will open on, uh, on Monday uh, as well. So, uh, so that's good news as we, as we move forward. So uh, a lot of heavy rain coming our way. Uh, that, that's the typical portion of, of the season, of this particular summer season, so no surprise there. So next up, after we take this break, I'm gonna have a sit down with Chris Curran from Curran and Young. And we're going to talk about the meaning of what we believe to be our 70 day, 75 day countdown to CO the building. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Royal Wood. I uh, have the honor of having uh, Chris Curran here, the CEO of Curran and Young, who obviously has been very, very involved um, in the project. And uh, Chris, I just mentioned that we are what we believe to be in the scheduling. I've seen the scheduling. I know that you have. Yeah. Um, that we're looking at basically 
our 75 day countdown. Um, and um, so I wanted you to kind of talk about, you know, for a general contractor, what does a 75 day countdown mean, but um, and what, what the details are in that, how many more inspections can we encounter sure. that you guys have to encounter. Um, and then, if you wouldn't mind, obviously, you know, everyone's very visual as they drive down Royalwood Boulevard. So they saw all types of work being done on the roof, and then they saw that work, you know, kind of stop. Um, I know you previously mentioned that's not an issue from the general contractor's point of view, um, and that the roof literally is the last thing that goes on. Right. The whole key is to get the dry in, and the dry in obviously allowed what people are seeing here today is a painting. Yep. So if you wouldn't mind talking to us about the 75 day countdown and what that means for, uh, for Royal and obviously for you as a company. Yeah, yeah, hey, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, this has been a, it's been a fun project. It's a tough project. You know, any project where you're ripping off, you know, three quarters of the building, you know, is, uh, there's been a lot of unforeseen conditions, but I think as a team, we've been able to, to really come together and get through it and, and prevail. And yeah, we're on track. Um, you know, a, a construction project is a lot like a marathon, and we are down to that 50-yard dash, and this is where the rubber really meets the road. This place in the next couple of days is going to be crawling with carpenters, trim carpenters, painters, putting the final touches on, the kitchen folks. There's a lot that's going to come together over the next, you know, 75 days or so. Um, speaking of, uh, uh, and, and that includes the building inspectors. So we probably have 30 or so inspections to do in the next couple of months. 30 or so, 30 or so more inspections. Yeah. Fire All the final inspections, you know, with the, with the final plumbing, the mechanical systems. In fact, the air conditioning in, in the space is going to be on later on today. Uh, so it'll be nice and cool in here. Uh, but all those final inspections, electrical final inspections, the plumbing fixtures, really everything, the, the doors, all of it. There's, there's 30 or so inspections. So, there's going to be a lot happening and a lot's going to come together. This is true of any construction project. This is about what it looks like, you know, when you're when you're two months out. Um, now, yeah, in terms of going back to the uh, the roofing question, because that's a big one, and I totally understand, you know, that, that you know what everybody is seeing above our construction fence right now is a roof that looks like it's not done. In actuality, it is done. It's actually doing its job today, and it has been here for a couple of months. Uh, the underlayment that's up there right now, that's the yellow product that you see, um, is, is really the waterproofing of the roof. The shingles are more of a secondary, uh, they're kind of a finish, you know, as, you know, like, like flooring is to a floor. Uh, but the underlayment is what really does the work, and that allows us to be in here, like you pointed out right now, allows the building to be in the dry. And, you know, I'll point out that uh, one of the ways, you know, when we were back early on, we are trying to find ways to save money, one of the many um, uh, solutions that we came up with is let's, main, let's keep as much of the existing roof, roof as we possibly can. Uh, so we did that. The whole back half of the building is the existing roof. Right. It was only installed a couple of years ago, so why tear that off? Now the other side to that is now we have to source and fabricate custom shingles to match that color. Sure. And these are metal shingles. A lot of people think that these are concrete tile, but they're actually a thin metal. And so the last thing we want to do is put those shingles up too early, and all the people that are still working up on the roof, the mechanical guy, the inspector, still have to get up on the roof. And we don't want them walking on the finished product because it'll dent easy, and, and then we're having to refabricate all this metal. So that's the reason we purposely held off on putting the shingles up there. Right. Um, it's not part of the critical path. And there's a lot of things in construction. You know, you have so many different activities in the construction schedule. There's probably you know, 500 items in this construction schedule. But of those items, there's probably 50 that are critical. And those are the ones that are on track, or actually everything's on track. But the critical path is what's on track and it's gonna allow us to finish on time here in a couple of months. Okay, okay, really good. A little long-winded there. That's all right, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's great to have you here. We think Kern Young's done a, done a great job. It's very difficult from those from the outside to know that. Obviously, I've been in the construction trailer every day. We've had um, our construction committee and our construction chair, John Alessandrello, was in the was in the construction trailer every day, being part of the uh, being part of the decisions. Um, 
you know, the wellness center looks gorgeous. The members are yeah. dying to take advantage of it. We're dying to have them take advantage of it. So I think when they see the montage that we're going to be producing on this, they're just going to see this beautiful, beautiful space here. And um, they'll be dying to get to trivia and dying to get to bingo and dying to get in here and enjoy the grill. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be really, really nice. So um, interior design, I know interior design is on schedule. Um, all the way through. Um, obviously, that'll be the last thing that goes in. Right. Um, all the furniture that's coming in and that type of stuff. So, um, but we're looking, we're looking good for that. Our timing is good. We wouldn't want to open up right now, anyways, because of lack of business, and I have to hire staff because the operations are going to be turning over to me pretty soon. This is going to be a real busy man. I hope you all yeah. have a lot of grace. Yeah. Because so. in the next two months, this is when it's going to be. That's right. That's right. So it's going to be tough. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is my first rodeo. It's exciting, but it's also nerve-wracking. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Royal Wood, have a great upcoming weekend. And like I said last week, God bless America. Thanks.